Hey, what's going on, guys? So I'm going to show you how to draw the water, and you can use this uh, for the rainforest, river, or a lake, or pretty much any situation where there's a landscape with some kind of water in it. And uh, I'm mainly going to be showing you how to make it really reflective. It makes it look really cool. Um, so first off, I'm using Bristol vellum paper. Uh, a company called Wasau makes it. And you can look that up. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, I'm using a soft, extra soft, General's charcoal pencil. A soft one would work too. Just as long as it's somewhat soft, that way it's easier to blend. And all I'm doing is just a bunch of horizontal lines. And uh, they're all going to be the darkest right at the edge of the water, mostly right where the water is closest to the the land because that's where all the shadows are and little plants and stuff like that and uh... it'll also be dark when there's a, a large tree near the water because you have to reflect reflect the tree into the water so but right now i'm just drawing a bunch of horizontal lines across then i grab a pink pearl eraser and this is my f the first time i ever did this you know, I was just kind of experimenting and it ended up looking good. I just started smearing the charcoal down with the eraser, which made it all blurry looking, which was kind of cool. Then I started turning the eraser on its edge like that, started doing more uh, vertical lines going down, and that gave the water a lot more depth, made it look a lot deeper and uh, a lot more reflective. So then I started adding in more charcoal. I think I might have gotten a, a softer pencil. This one looks softer. I'm pretty sure it's an extra soft. Then just more blending. So that's the general idea. You draw and then you grab a just a pink pearl eraser and start blending it all down. So I'm just kinda covering more ground now, adding some more in. It's all horizontal lines still so now we got this tree here and I'm just gonna kind of imagine that there's a mirror underneath it just draw mainly the trunk you don't have to add any like detail really you're just gonna be blurring it with the eraser in a minute but um, it'll look really cool if you get like the main plants and uh, trees and do this so that it just really makes it look like water because of how reflective it looks now I'm just kind of experimenting a little bit more seeing what other uh, looks I can get so I start using a little Tortillion blending stump to uh, blend some of this in. And you really don't don't have to do this. I'm just kind of messing around. You can use the eraser to do this. But, but yeah, if you want to grab a little blending stump, even a Q-tip would work, and you can kind of make things look blurrier. There's a couple bushes in the back. I just do the same thing, kind of mirror them upside down, and then I I use the little tortillion, but still the eraser is just fine to to smooth them in. All right, so here we are, a couple minutes later, or a little while later. I uh, just been adding more and more just doing the exact same thing adding more charcoal blending it all down uh, adding more reflection I added a little log on there going out into the water so uh, pretty much the last little effect that you might want to add is you grab the edge of the eraser and you start doing just a few horizontal lines with it and that will kinda add like a, a little ripple effect so it'll make it look more like the water's moving and it's up to you um, I don't know how well that would look on a lake. I don't know, it'd probably work. It'd make it look kind of choppy. But for the river, I think it looks pretty good. It makes it kind of look like the water's moving a bit more. But yeah, you just go back and forth 
adding in a few thin little lines just to make some ripples in there just add a little bit more to it and uh, that's pretty much all there is uh, that's how you draw the water so thanks for watching if you have any questions just post a comment I'll try to answer it and yeah good luck